All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we're going to be going through a few methods to try to get the Scarface game to recognize that you have a controller plugged in. Now, the first mistake or first error that I see and I, even I make up to this day is that, and this is petty, but the Scarface game will not let you use a controller if it wasn't fully turned on before you start the game. So let's say you had a 360 controller plugged in. If you didn't hit the home button and waited until the light was constant green uh, before you started the game, you would not be able to use the controller at all. Okay, so for the second method, what I would recommend doing is using a XI input to a D input uh, translator. Uh, the link is in the description. So you, when you come onto this page here, all we're gonna do is download that one right here, the D input 8.dll file, and then hit the download. And what we're gonna do from here is actually put this file into the game folder itself. So one important note about this method is that it states that you should turn off the vibration because it will crash, it will make the game crash for some reason. Now the reason is not really known, but again, the vibration needs to be turned off in the settings before you actually go through with playing the game. Okay, so once you have that file in there, with the in the game directory now what you want to do is just go ahead and start the game and see if that method will work for you okay guys so another method that you could use is definitely um this one i think it's a good one it's called joy to key what that does is turn any button you press on the keyboard into a button you press on the controller itself now there's again the link is in the description of this video so yeah uh, once you're on this site, you could use any of these, uh, but what something I tend to go to is definitely I like the old and stable version of the software. Okay guys, so now that we have this software extracted and up and running, uh, the fourth thing I would recommend doing here is just setting the basic movements on the keyboard to the stick. So A, D, W, S being set to the left stick of left, right, up and down. Uh, the way you do that, uh, they all will be disabled when you start the program, by the way. The way you do that is just select something and then hit edit button assignment. And then come up here and push any key on the keyboard. Uh, once you have that four movement set though, the next thing I would recommend doing is go to preferences, associate profile with application. Now I already have it up here, but I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, we're going to hit edit. And then we're going to go to uh, name the profile. I mean, name the application name. And here we're going to do scarface.exe. Or if that's giving you trouble and it's not working, what you want to do is capture the Scarface thing. So it'll give you three seconds to, to uh, target the software itself. Like click on the software after you hit this button. Uh, once that's all set, we're going to choose profile one and then hit OK and OK. Now launch the game. All right, guys, the last method I would recommend doing is the Xbox 360 controller emulator. Now, it's not mainly about your controller not working. It's about forcing the game to recognize that you have a controller, um, whether that through a third party like um, a software. So uh, once we're on the site, all we want to do is select one of these. Now, I'm going to do download for all game. I usually don't do that. I go with like the 64, but let's just to give this one a good try. All right, guys, now that the software is running, I'm gonna run through it a little bit, um, but it's pretty much straightforward. It's just like Joy the Key, but except it presents an image which make it a little bit more user-friendly than uh, Joy the Key. But another good thing we could actually do with this here is actually just add the game itself and have the complete loadout of that game into the, uh, uh, into the software itself. So the whole point of the uh, of this video, like you already know, is to get a third party software to actually push the game to thinking that the controller is up and running and ready to go. So once that's all set up, all you wanna do is just launch the game. Uh, you can just minimize this, do, don't exit out. Just minimize it and then run the game and see if it works with your game on your PC. Um, if any of these method works for you, Definitely, I would appreciate it if you just comment it down below as this will help other people see which which method is like the most successful one, I guess. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to subscribe.